Hi guys, Brian here from toyingplans.com. This is kind of like a map video, except instead of a map, I have a calendar because I am talking about the least crowded Halloween parties to visit this year, 2018. I know it is only June. It seems too early to start thinking about Halloween parties, but we're only a little over two months away from the first party up here on August 17th. So now it is a good time to start thinking about what party you're going to go to. So let's just start out by saying that any of the parties, even the busiest of them, will not be as busy as a busy day at the Magic Kingdom. I know I said the word busy a lot there, but they only allow a certain number of people into the Magic Kingdom for the parties. That is why they can sell out. Obviously, as you can see, this is August, September, October. I didn't write the month description very large, not as large as I should have, but I'm sure you can figure it out. As you probably have already guessed, the pumpkins are where the Halloween parties are. And yes, there are a lot of them, especially in October. If you want to see exactly how our top five from last year did, as well as the full chart, the full ranking of all the Halloween parties this year, go to blog.touringplans.com. I will link it underneath the video here. I wrote a blog post that has the full chart on it. The Christmas party one will be coming in a few days right before the video comes out. So how do we figure out what are the least busy parties? As I've said, we do not have access to attendance numbers. Disney just flat out does not give those out. It's also hard to empirically judge whether there are a lot of people standing on the parade route or watching the fireworks because even a small amount of people when all cluttered into the hub and main street in magic kingdom will look like a lot of people so what we do is we use the data we do have and we have a lot of it and that is wait times and there is a difference between busy parties and not busy parties it's not a ton the even on the busiest of days you won't really see lines longer than say 40, 45 minutes for Seven Dwarfs Mine Train. A ride like the Haunted Mansion, you really won't see waits more than 20 minutes even on the busiest party days. But on the less busy party days, you might see five minute waits at the Haunted Mansion. You might see 15 minute waits at Seven Dwarfs Mine Train. So there is a difference, even though the average wait for all attractions during the party is only about 15 minutes. So it is a decent time if you, there are a few attractions, say Seven Doors Mine Train, that you couldn't get a fast pass for, you don't feel like waiting an hour on a regular day, maybe use the time at the party to ride that ride before you go and do all the extra party stuff. Obviously, you're gonna to wanna to take advantage of that party stuff because you're paying a pretty decent amount to be at the party. The prices this year for 2018 range from $75 for an adult ticket up to 125 that Halloween party on Halloween. There are discounts available for annual pass holders, DVC members, things like that, but it's still not cheap. Now, if you are only going for a couple days and plan on doing a hard ticket party like this, you could actually substitute this for a park day if it works out a little better financially for you. You are allowed into the Magic Kingdom starting at 4 p.m. on the day of the party. So if you aren't, don't go to a park in the morning or early afternoon, you could head over to the Magic Kingdom at four and start riding rides until official party time at seven. Alternatively, you could avoid maybe buying a park hopper because you could go to a different park in the morning and then still go to the Magic Kingdom starting at four using your party ticket to enter instead of your regular park ticket. Now for the Halloween parties this year, like they did with the Christmas party last year, the park closes at 6 p.m. to day guests. So it used to be seven and that was the start of the party time as well. Now they have a buffer hour in there. Party guests are still allowed in from six to seven. If you get there, then you will be allowed in. If you're already in the park, you can stay as long as you get the wristband that identifies you as a party guest. You are still allowed to ride the rides. Day guests are not. So that hour from six to seven. So we definitely recommend getting there by six for the party because that extra hour gives you two pretty decent options. One, you can meet rare characters. Some of them will be out already. And even the ones that aren't, you probably want to get in line for early. These are characters like the Seven Dwarves or Jack Skellington. 
that are always popular, or you can ride rides. Now there will be some lines still built up from the day guests that got in line before six. So something like Seven Dwarves Mine Train probably still will be too long a line. But some of the rides that maybe don't build up quite as much line, things like Pirates of the Caribbean, Haunted Mansion, Buzz Lightyear, things like that, that the line will move a little bit quicker you can probably get in and out pretty easily before the party even starts and you're not wasting any of your party time. I think that's all my party tips. Now I have been holding you off enough to talk about the best parties and the busiest parties. Now in general, earlier in the season is better than late in the season and midweek is better than weekend. These are just generalities if you are thinking about what time of year to visit. Obviously, as you get closer to Halloween, you're going to get more people that are there for Halloween festivities or in the spirit of Halloween and they will be going to the parties. Now to mark the best and worst, I have given up my pointer for this one for a good old fashioned marker. What in our opinion is the best Halloween party to go to as far as crowds? That is right here, September 11th. It is a Tuesday party. You're looking at a midweek party. This week, this second week of September has, has historically been one of the least crowded weeks at Walt Disney World all year. It's been that way since I've been working at Touring Plans, which is over seven years now. That week has always been the least busy and it still is one of, if not the least busy weeks of the year. Now, least busy doesn't exactly mean what it did five or six years ago, but it's still by comparison to others, less busy. So right there, Tuesday, September 11th, is we think going to be one of the least busy Halloween parties in 2018. Another one, two weeks before it, another Tuesday, August 28th. This one is also pretty easy to explain. It is right before food and wine starts. You've already had two parties on the year for locals, bloggers, video people to get all their shots that they need. It is in August. People really aren't gonna be thinking about Halloween in August. And if they are, they're gonna wait a couple days and come and experience food and wine also. So that one should be a pretty good one. Now we're gonna move off of the Tuesdays for a bit. Friday, September 7th right here. I know it is still Labor Day week, but Labor Day just does not pull the crowds that some of the other holidays do. Our theory has always been that summer has just ended for a lot of people. My kids, for instance, don't start school until right here, August 29th, and a lot of the schools in the Northeast are like that. Some don't start until Labor Day week. So rather than take the kids out of school to come during around Labor Day, we can just visit two weeks, 10 days earlier and not have to worry about school at all. So that's why I'm not afraid to recommend that one. Next, we're going back up into August, right here, August 24th. Same basic principle as August 28th. It's early in the year. This was actually right around when the first party was last year that was really busy. So this one is the riskiest pick that I have. If you're deciding between these two, I would still go with that Tuesday, August 28th party. Now the risk here is that, like I just said, kids are still out of school. I could take my kids to that party and they wouldn't miss school at all. So you might get a lot of people traveling from up north. The schools in Florida around that area are back by then, um, which is why I'm taking them. But this one, I'm going to, you know what, I'm going to put a little star next to it because if I have a risky pick on this board, it's that one right there. And lastly, in my top five down here, September 25th, going back to Tuesdays, again, this is just one that has been historically low. It's a Tuesday, still in September that's gonna be a pretty good one too. Like I said, Tuesdays are pretty sweet. Early in the year is also pretty sweet. What do I think the busiest parties are gonna be? First one is an easy, it's a gimme, it's Halloween. Halloween is the most expensive party to go to by quite a bit. It is also the only one that sells out every single year. Every year this is sold out and it sells out way in advance. Most of these parties, if they do sell out, they sell out the day of the party, the day before the party, maybe three or four days before the party. This one sells out at least 23 days in advance. One year, it actually sold out in early August, August 3rd, the Halloween, Halloween party had already sold out. Last year was the year that it was 23 days. Probably not a coincidence that last year they bumped the price for this party up by quite a bit. Now, speaking of sellouts, and I am not talking about myself, although I will sell out gladly if anyone has you know money to throw at me. But last year, only two parties sold out. Halloween was one of them, and I'll get to the other one in just a minute. That was quite a few fewer than the previous years. We think there are probably two factors in this. One, 
they have most likely increased the capacity of the Halloween party. This shows in the wait times as well. Remember I said before, the average wait time for all attractions is 15 minutes? Well, last year it was also 15 minutes. The year before it was only about 12 or 13 minutes, which I know doesn't sound like a lot, but that's a pretty good jump when considering all attractions and all parties. So the indicators are that maybe there are more people at the Halloween parties than there used to be. Also, the prices keep going up. And they are going to keep going up as long as they have enough people at the parties, but that means sellouts seem to be less likely. So what was the other party that sold out in 2017? That was this one, October 14th. Also, obviously a day we are not recommending. Now why this one sold out and why the wait time numbers were higher for that one is a little bit harder to figure out. It could be that Columbus Day week just is a little bit busier and that was maybe people's last thing before they went home. I don't know, I honestly can't tell you, but what I can tell you is that was a very busy party last year. Obviously it sold out, it hit capacity. So the other ones we don't recommend right here, October 28th, Sunday, right before Halloween. Seems pretty reasonable that that will be busy. And then the other two also in October 19th right there and the 12th right there, two consecutive Fridays. 12th is very easily explained. It is that busy Columbus week. 19th, again, like the 14th, just one that historically has been a busy party. Now I know you're probably thinking, well, isn't the 30th very busy? Isn't the 26th busy? What about Columbus Day week? Yes, these are all parties that have, are in the top of what we think will be the busier parties. October 30th, uh, the only reason it didn't make the top five is because I think probably people that are here for these two consecutive nights will choose Halloween over the 30th. So maybe that one will be a little bit better but you never know, maybe a lot of people are thinking that way and we'll fill that one up too. We will just have to wait and see. But all of these are pretty busy. If you are going to be there in October, look at these two, the 16th and the 23rd. These Tuesday parties will probably be your best bet for later October. Please, I know you all have questions, so go ahead and ask them down below. Make sure you like this video, that does help us out, and what helps us out more than anything is smacking that subscribe button with your mouse or finger. If you're on mobile, don't actually smack it. I don't want any responsibility for breaking any computing device. But thank you all for watching, and happy Halloween.